By the way, the force is already under investigation for accusations of systemic racism. The city's police services board also being investigated by the Ontario Civilian Police Commission. First Nations leaders say the board has ignored repeated requests for help. Well, you just heard from the lawyer involved in this, Julian Falconer. He represents a number of Indigenous voices in this review, including the Debungi family. And he's joining us now from downtown Toronto with more. Julian, thank you for coming on CTV to give us your take on what's going on here. We appreciate it. Pleasure. So, for folks watching us across the country, what is happening in Thunder Bay in your mind? A failure of uh, police service. Uh, a failure of a police services board to understand that the public uh, includes Indigenous uh, communities. Uh, these river deaths uh, are not new. Uh, they've been going on for some time. Uh, there was an inquest into uh, uh, the death of seven youth, five of them who died at the rivers. That inquest finished last June 2016. Three of the deaths, even though the Thunder Bay Police Service had cast them off as accidental, were determined by the jury to be undetermined. Since then, again, more deaths. Since then, uh, again, these odd reactions by the Thunder Bay Police Service in which they automatically rule out foul play before post-mortems are even done. In the case of Stacy DeBungie in October 2015, with his death, we hired a private investigator who found that even the most elementary investigative steps weren't taken. And so we are now left with two more deaths, Tammy Kiesch and uh, Josiah Begg, they both passed away this month, again at the rivers. No one knows what's actually going on at the rivers. How do you lose this many people in a community of the size of Thunder Bay? Uh, and there is no credible police service to do the work. I know you've been working closely with Indigenous groups, First Nations in the area, and we heard a little bit from them earlier uh, describing this as basically systemic racism. What is their viewpoint on this? What are you hearing from them, the message they want people to know, Julian? That they will not stand for being less than worthy victims anymore. That their, uh, their communities, their children are as valuable uh, to society and to their world as anybody else. And it is truly a sad uh, reflection that they would have to stand up and say that. But these lives are being valued in a, in a, uh, in frankly, a, a racist way by those charged with investigating these deaths. Uh, Chief Leonard uh, put it uh, at, at, at the uh, press conference this morning, it's just another dead Indian. And so the concern is that there be a, a new approach. And that new approach that's being sought is that uh, the, uh, the, the two grand chiefs that represent the largest collection of communities, 77 communities in the north, are asking for the RCMP to be brought in. And they want the Toronto Police Service, my apologies, they want the Thunder Bay Police Services Board uh, investigated. And they want them investigated for utter failures of leadership and for dysfunctionality. Julian, have we heard anything from the RCMP on this since this demand was made earlier today? No, it's first for the uh, Provincial Minister of uh, Community Safety, Minister Lalonde, to uh, interact with the Thunder Bay Police and come up with a plan. Uh, then it would be for the RCMC to, RCMP to respond to that plan. What we have heard is from the Ontario Civilian Police Commission announcing that they are conducting an investigation of the Thunder Bay Police Services Board. And it's important to understand, uh, this is not some kind of public relations uh, jousting. The Thunder Bay Police Services Board, uh, you can try to Google who the chair is. You'll never find any leadership out of that, uh, out of that board. You will find that they have aligned themselves 100% uh, as police boosters with the officers, not an oversight body. And they've actually refused, in writing, refused to meet with the chief and council about the systemic racism review going on in the, in the town. And now the chief of police, the chief of police of the Thunder Bay Police is criminally charged. So he's out of the equation. Frankly, there is a complete policing crisis in, in Thunder Bay. And what's necessary is for the outside governing bodies to step in and get this thing under control. A lot of questions here, Julian. We appreciate you making time for CTV, though, to get the word out. And we'll keep our eye on this story as it develops. Pleasure. Julian Falconer joining us from downtown Toronto.